This is a quick video to show you guys a problem that some people are having with Windows 10 and the speed of it. Uh, mostly the reason for this uh, that most people are having is that when you updated to Windows 10, we actually got um, the Windows 10 operating system installed, but they installed it over our old operating system. So if you had 8.1 or Windows 8 or Windows 7, um, it installed over that operating system without deleting it. Um, just to ensure the user has their old operating system in case they want to go back to um, back to using that. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to delete that old operating system if you haven't already and if your computer is running slow. If you don't um, want to delete the operating system, that's fine. Um, I would recommend deleting it if you're not going to switch back and... Um, because that would that's just the most uh, clear way to have Windows 10 running smoothly if your computer is running slow. So what we're going to want to do is simply go to disk cleanup. So what you're going to want to do to find that is type in in the search administrative tools. If you type in admin, it'll pop up. In the menu, we're going to go down to sit or disk cleanup right here. I already had the icon right here. I was just showing you. Um, how to navigate to it normally. So you can right click it, post it, or put it on your taskbar if you want. But we have it going. And you're gonna want this to load. So once it's done loading, you'll get a different dialog box that'll allow you to do what we need to do. So here it is. We have our um, box. And since I already deleted my operating system, it's not on here. But what you're gonna wanna do, and make sure that you do, if you want to delete your old operating system and speed up Windows 10, is check mark all these boxes. In one of these, it'll say old operating system. It'll say uh, Windows 7 files if you had Windows 7, Windows 8 files, something like that. Make sure you have that box checked. I always um, do disk cleanup every now and then, and I always have all these boxes checked. It gets rid of all your old junk in your computer. But as long as you have that checked, you're going to want to click clean up system files with the administrative uh, uses right here. Click on that and the disk cleanup will pop up again and you'll go through this and after this is done you'll get another dialog box just like the other one. So we'll wait for that. Okay so after you've uh, did the administrative uh, disk cleanup you'll have a few more options in the checklist so as you can see there's a few more options in here of old stuff that was on the computer that it can delete at the amount of 19 megabytes. So if your operating system is still on your computer, you should have uh, upwards of 20 gigabytes if you had a 64-bit, um, a little bit over 10 or 15 gigabytes if you had a 32-bit operating system. But you should see that reflected down here, at least over 10 gigabytes. So once that's done, again, make sure all these boxes are checked. It's very important. And click OK. Click Delete Files. And there you go. So there you go. Um, that's the end of this video. That's all you have to do to delete your old operating system and get Windows 10 running to its full speed again. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and have a good day.